Hey guys, I'd like to read an article, and this is about the Tahana Atom Reservation, and it's in Sells, Arizona. Well, it's it's in Maricopa County in southwestern Arizona, and um, they're actually sending something to uh, the United States government because they've they've become pretty much militarized. I want to tell you what they've been doing on um, this land. They violated the Atom rights to life by continuous monitoring and surveillance in the communities of the entirety of the Atom lands, restricting free movement within the communities and the entire lands. Armed and abused violent attacks of the Atom members and driving through yards and fenced in areas at high speeds endangering the lives of the Athams. Now, you think about that that you just can't go on a sovereign land and do that. You just cannot do that. Um, they just violated their treaty rights and this nation has now a right to stand up and fight back. They violated the cultural rights by interference and disruption of ceremonial hunts by the presence in hunting areas, even upon the proper notice to their head authorities. They're disarming traditional hunters helicopters flying over hunting areas, trucks, ATVs, and horses in hunting areas, spotlighting ceremonial dancers, driving through ceremonial grounds, and driving and parking in the ceremonial grounds. They violated the Autumn rights of mobility by stopping and restricting the Autumn, conducting prayers and offerings, collecting foods and medicine plants, and hunting on the Autumn lands aggressive and physical attacks while interrogation or interrogating the Otham as to their personal travel agenda including the threat of criminal charges, coercion and imprisonment using gross profanity and racial remarks outright dis demeaning the Otham not proficient in the English language and demanding passports from the Otham while in their yards in their homes and while traveling on the, the Bureau of Indian Affairs roads and State Road 86 that is on Autumn lands, including at structures of illegal checkpoints on the boundaries of the Tahona Autumn Nation Reservation. They have trespassed and destroyed cultural property and creating numerous access roads without authorization, including the use of community hunting and firewood gathering roads grading and destroying mountains and hills, including ceremonial use mountains and lands, and handling and destruction of burial sites. Did you get that? They're, they're destroying their burial sites on mountains and lands. Their removal of burial items, driving on or over marked burial areas such as cemeteries, destroying natural habitats of animals and plants of great significance to the autumn ceremonial use, uses for medicines and the destruction of surveying of mountaintops for proposed surveillance towers without authorization including assembly of portable surveillance equipment on mountains and hills and making access roads to these areas without authorization, parking on ceremonial grounds, parking in cemeteries and near, near or by burial areas marking numerous roads by homes within the communities or excuse me, making numerous roads. We request the general public to support the Otham by demanding a stop to these profoundly offensive and repeated violations occurring on the Otham by the United States Government Department of Homeland Security Border Pro Patrols and demanding protection of the Otham right to life, culture rights, rights of mobility, of mobility and cultural properties. All rights are guaranteed under the United States government's laws and international laws. And there's a place you can send this. I'm going to leave this link. The reason I'm doing this is because I've known that they've been doing this. They call it the militarization. Here, let me turn around. This is kind of a militarization of nations. They're going to try to start militarizing. And they're on the border, so that's a good place for them to start. Um, I don't know why I'm so yellow. Um, they're, they're, they're going to start doing this probably to the nations and I say that's a test I mean they're completely surrounding and they're, they're destruct you know they're doing destruction to come on cemeteries I mean what kind of human being would do that to another person's 
stuff. Now, I know I talk about sovereignty a lot, and I know that the local community has supported them. Now it's time we all draw a line in the sand because this is happening in nation after nation. And if they get rid of the Indians, well, you know the rest. They say ask an Indian if you want to know about the government. You're next or I'm next. So I'm just saying we've got to start helping these people out. Respect, love, kindness. I mean, these people are desert people. They do not... Look, they don't bother anybody it, out of all the reservations. This is like, these are desert-dwelling peoples. They don't bother anyone. They really and truly don't. And I think this is just a despicable act upon Homeland Security and the Border Patrol. They have other things they could be doing, and I think everybody would agree, like going after the drug cartels. Instead, they're focusing on this one reservation. That all your taxpayer money are focusing on this one gentle peoples, and they're very gentle peoples. That's where your taxpayer money's going. Yeah, that's what it is. I think when Obama signed some kind of Native American thing, um, this executive order, I think he meant to get rid of all the Native American reservations and probably, de I mean, if they're, if they're messing with the cemeteries, they're probably going to start getting rid of the Indian peoples. Now, we know that they're taking the Apaches water, the Denes or the Navajos, the Hopis. Uh, they're putting them on super fun nuclear sites. They're letting them die, starvation. Um, we just, in the First Nations area, found out they were vaccinating them with tuberculosis. I mean, come on. There's a lot of things going on. And if it happens to the First Nations or the original peoples, it's eventually going to happen to you. I know I... I I won't get into some remarks I heard from uh, one of these little YouTube talks where they were talking about engines and being drunk, and that's what Indians are all, or engines are all about. Well, first of all, an engines are usually a corporate hack, so you don't know very much about the Native Americans. Native Americans call engines cor their corporate engines. They work for the corporation. Engine, get it? They're the ones that line their pocket full of the money while the rest of the people starve. So. Um, anyway, I was just a little upset over this because they're surrounding the nation and they're just tearing it apart. And I think that we all should be out, you know, outraged over this because when they do this, usually genocide follows. And then eventually it's going to come. This is, this is like Reagan trickle down economics. What happens on Indian reservation trickles down to the rest of, of, um, North America. So, I want everybody to have a heads up on this. Um, this is not a good thing. Please support them. Peace, love, truth. I'm out of here.